This is Dr. Kenneth Lewis, and this video is for patients who have been scheduled for a sympathetic block. Uh, this can be performed at a cervical or neck level, at a lumbar level, or for certain areas within the pelvis called hypogastric blocks or ganglion impar. There's also another sympathetic block that can be utilized to treat gastric pain, like the type of pain you'd have after a pancreatitis or a scarring after a gallbladder surgery. These injections are designed to treat uh, a component of the central nervous system that is the sympathetic system. It's kind of the stealth system within the central nervous system. When you look at your spine, it's, it's relatively easy to understand where the actual spinal cord and the roots exit your spine. Those are nerves that allow you to move things and control certain aspects uh, of, your, uh, of your life. There's other components of your central nervous system that you need to have active, but for which you don't want to have uh, any mental control over. These can be things like blood flow to your kidneys or your liver or the movement of peristalsis within your bowels. All those things require a nervous input, but not one that you want to consciously be involved with. Uh, for some people, after certain types of trauma, whether that is from uh, an illness, an injury, a crush injury to an extremity, you can have such uh, a firing of the central nervous system pain fibers and for such a long period of time uh, that uh, there is a memory loop that is created uh, and we believe is main maintained to some degree by the sympathetic system. So. In the spine, the sympathetic system is on the front of the spine, and it's uh, anatomically uh, somewhat like uh, wet cobwebs, or just a, a milky white network of nerves that are very non-discrete, very much unlike the actual spine and spinal roots. But nonetheless, it's in a, a fairly uh, precise area within the spine, extending all the way from the cervical spine, through the thoracic spine, through the lumbar spine, and even down through the tailbone. Uh, if you're scheduled for a sympathetic block uh, in the uh, in the cervical spine, uh, we would call that a stellate ganglion block and the anesthetic is placed right on the front of the spine to anesthetize that region of nerves there. In the lumbar spine for chronic leg or extremity pain, uh, we're likely to treat somewhere in the L1 through L3 region of the lumbar spine uh, and once again on the front section of the actual vertebra. Uh, for chronic pelvic pain, we want to place the medication right on the front of the junction of the lumbar uh, spine with the sacrum to treat the hypogastric sympathetic system. And then at the very bottom of the tailbone is what's called the ganglion impar that can be involved with rectal or vaginal pain or pain in the low pelvis. Uh, if we were going to treat pain uh, in your upper abdomen that might be present after a pancreatitis or chronic uh, uh, gallbladder disease, we actually want to treat a small set of nerves that are sitting right on the front of the actual aorta. And we do have a very special, very small needle that is designed to actually pass through the aorta onto the front side of the aorta where a small amount of, uh, of the treatment fluid will be placed right on the front of the aorta to treat the, the, the celiac plexus. On all these procedures, we'll provide you with some light sedation. We'll watch the entire thing happen while uh, on, on fluoroscopy. Uh, and we want to identify our specific target and also verify during the injection that there's no vascular structures included. Uh, when we do this type of injection, it's likely to be a series of injections. We'll do the first injection, we'll document any notable improvement in pain, and then we'll do a second injection, typically within a few weeks. If there's a clear improvement in both the quality and the duration of action of treatment, then a third injection may be considered. Uh, and an ongoing series of these, of these injections may be considered on a limited basis as long as we see a progressive improvement in both quality and duration of action. Uh, the, and once again, this is typically for people who have chronic pain uh, that has been described as either a complex regional pain syndrome uh, or a, a sympathetically maintained pain. Uh, these patients may have been treated in the past with things like gabapentin, uh, Lyrica, or Neurontin. Uh, and if unsuccessful, this is another modality through interventional pain management that might find a way to turn that pain down. All right, thank you.